Hi folks, Matthew here with Disaster Area Designs. Today we're going to be covering the use of our DMC Micro Preset Renamer Utility. This is a web-based utility that allows you to rename the preset names and util mode names on your DMC Micro Pro. In order to use the utility, you're going to need your DMC Micro Pro. It should be updated to the latest firmware from our website. And you'll need a USB mini cable. These are available at most electronic stores, big box shops, and online. So, connect your USB mini cable to your DMC Micro Pro and connect the other end to your computer. You're going to need to open up a web browser. It should be a web browser that supports Web MIDI. At this time, that's Microsoft Edge for Windows, Google Chrome for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and Opera for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Go to our website, disasterareadesigns.com, and click on the support link at the top of the page. Scroll down until you see the picture of the DMC Micro Pro at the upper left of the support area. And underneath the picture, click on the preset naming utility. The preset renaming utility window will open and you'll be prompted as to whether you want to allow Chrome, Opera, or Edge to use your MIDI devices. You should press the allow button. Once everything is connected, you should see Disaster G3 MIDI in the MIDI input and output windows. And then you should see a green message that says DMC Micro with firmware and then the firmware version. At the time of this video, the current firmware vision is 2.00i and the number that displays on the renamer is as shown, 02000009. In order to view the preset names on your DMC Micro, Enter the setup by holding both buttons. Tap the left button until you see name disp, and then hold the left button. The current menu selection will be highlighted in white. At this time, it's set to off. If I press the right button, it will set to name and number. If I press it again, it'll set to name large. We'll set it back to name and number, and hold the right button to save. On the screen, you can see the preset name and number. In this case, it's 00.new and it's preset 00. If we go to the renamer utility and we select any preset number, for example, 0, and we change this to anything, for example, hello, and press the save button, the DMC Micro will save the new preset name and it will recall that anytime that preset is loaded. You can so save up to eight characters in this. If you prefer to have the names displayed in a larger font, you can change the name display to name large and hold the right button to save. And now the DMC Micro will show seven characters instead of eight. So instead of the eight characters we entered before, it shows the first seven. If you want to rename all your presets at the same time, click on the All Presets tab, and you'll be presented with a list of all 100 preset names, along with the util names, util X and Y. In order to use this, press the Read All Presets Names button, the renamer will grab all of the preset names and allow you to change them. Anytime you enter in a new name here on the renamer and tab away or click in a new spot, the name will be automatically saved and you won't have to do anything. So you can quickly and easily rename all of your presets. You'll notice that the last six names are labeled Util X and Util Y. In order to use the Util Naming feature, go into Setup, 
change util name to on, and then enable one or more of the util modes. We're going to enable util mode X. If your unit's been recently reset, when you enter util mode, you won't see anything here. Everything will be blank. We can use the renamer to change these three items. They'll store five characters each. So, for example, we can set this to timeline freeze or big sky freeze or hold or anything you like. You can set the util names for the X or Y util nodes. All of the names are saved in the unit's memory and will remain after a power on. If you're using your DMC micro along with a USB host device, for example, if you're using it to control a source audio C4 and you're normally set to MIDI host, and you'll notice when you plug in the unit, the USB uh, MIDI input will appear and then disappear. You'll notice now on our renamer, we have no available MIDI inputs. That's because with the unit set to MIDI host, it's unable to communicate back to the renamer, back to the computer. There's a workaround for this and it's accessed very easily. Plug in the USB cable, wait one second, and then hold the left button. The unit will enter setup and you'll see that the MIDI inputs are now detected. You may need to refresh the browser window in order to get these to appear, but everything will act as normal. You'll be able to access and change any of the preset names. So that's the DMC Micro Preset Renamer. If you've got any questions on how the renamer works, please leave a comment below or send us an email using the support page on our website. Thanks for watching.